Are you comfortable? Do you have enough blankets? You know, the, the whole point of the quilt on the back of the couch is so your fur doesn't get all over it. It's not really for you to tear down and bundle, but that's okay, you know. Whatever you feel best. As long as you're comfortable. Week four of Dark October Stitching. Believe it. Um, I am starting this fourth week off with a new start from Stacy Nash Primitives. This is Jack's House Pin Keep. This was lent to me by my friend Maddie. Her and our friend Michelle have both stitched it already. Um, I love this pattern. I also have, there's also another pattern by Stacy Nash that I love. That's a pin keep. Um, is it maybe called Halloween pin keep? I'm not sure. No, I'm working on Halloween pin keep. This is a different one. Um, I'm going to show a picture right here. So what I'm going to do is kind of do a mashup of the two. And I know the colors that are in the other one. And so I'm going to stitch it with those colors. Um, I'm going to make the uh, jack-o'-lanterns on this just pumpkins. So I'll take out the faces. And then I'm going to stitch it on blue fabric. This is a piece of um, sampler blue from Extra Designs, 40 count. Um, so I'm going to mash the two up that way and hopefully it comes out um, well. But I think that uh, probably makes more sense than stitching both of them. So um, I'll update you in a bit. All right, well, here's my ending point for today. I worked on the vine. Um, and I'm hoping these, the color, the whole situation will come out. Um, we'll see how it goes. I liked the way the white pumpkins were outlined in the other piece, and that won't have this one won't have that unless I edit the pattern a bit. So we'll see how it comes out when I get to go back to it. Um, but that's it for today. Good night. Hi guys! Happy Tuesday. Second Monday. Whatever. <laughs> um, I am going to be stitching today Trick or Treat Two Witch Pin Keeps by the Humble Stitcher. They're just two cute little witches. I'm going to stitch them together in one piece. Um, yeah, I like them. I'm doing this on a piece of 32 count Ghana in Heritage from Pictures Plus. It was a small piece I had in my stash. Um, and I'm going to go watch The Walking Dead with my boyfriend. Um, last night I watched some good ones. I watched Marlene from Stitching by the Lake, McKenna from Stitching in Sequence, and Jennifer from The Whistle Stop Stitcher. So thanks ladies for your wonderful videos. I am going to watch Walking Dead and start my new piece. Hey guys, so I, uh, I just, <laughs> I just finished an episode of The Haunted Hill House and now I'm like, ooh, this is episode five. They haven't been that scary, but the ending of the fifth one just messed up with, like, messed with my head. Okay. Um, anyway, I stitched on this. I watched Walking Dead, and then I watched um, Julie from Colorado, no, Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World. Um, thank you, Julie, for that video. Wonderful as always. And then I just watched that freaky episode of The Haunting of Hill House. Um, but yeah, this is cute and fun to stitch. I've got, I'm going to stitch both of them together. They're going to have like the the sticks together. So they're, they'll be opposite of the way they are here. Um, so their baskets will be on the outside. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. And um, now I'm going to go read and try the, to erase the contents of um, that episode from my head before I go to sleep. All right. Good night. Hey guys, happy hump day. I'm home. I've got my Jimmy Floss tube shirt on. I'm ready for a new start. Today I'm going to start Scary One from the bowl full of scary series from Plum Street Samplers. I already started number two um, this month. I'm going to be stitching it on the the called for 36 count old town blend from R&R and &R in the called for threads. Um, I was lucky enough to get this as a kit on stash unload for 10 bucks. Same with the second one. So um, that was an awesome deal. I could not pass up and they're super cute and I'm looking forward to starting it. Talk to you later. All right.
guys. Um, 25th, right? Uh, day 25 of Dark October Stitching is a wrap. I got some good progress. I got a tree done and uh, the majority of the cauldron. It was cute. Very Plum Street. Love it. All right. Good night. Hello, happy Thursday. So close to Friday. It's like Friday Junior. Actually crazy at work. I'm glad to be home. And watching uh, McKenna live from the attic where I'm going to be in two weeks. Ah, cannot wait. Um, I am going to start tonight Pineberry Lane's Jiggity Jig. I think this is adorable. I am stitching it on the called for Weeks Dye Works Corn Silk Linen 35 count. Really like this. Um, and it's just calls for one color, charcoal from Weeks Dye Works, and that's what I'm going to stitch it in. So, I am uh, going to get to it, and I'll show you guys my progress later. Bye. Look at my cute little dancing witch. I love her. God, stitching this makes me want all the pine, pine berry lane patterns. No. No. Um, but, um... Jesse Marie just recently finished uh, Merry Halloween, and it's so cute. It would be a perfect companion piece. But um, we're just going to stick with this for now. But yeah, I love this pattern. It's super cute. Jiggity jig. Um, that was fun. And I just a few more, couple more witches. All right. Good night. Tomorrow's Friday. It's Friday. Oh my gosh. Look at me. I look like I got beat up. Um, oh my gosh. Full work. You know, it's like one of those days where I like drove home, drove to work and it's dark out and I just got home and it's getting dark out. Um, we had happy hour after work and guess who hosts the happy hours? I have the company credit card, so I shouldn't, it's not a complaint. Well, no, I just, you know, um, it's fun. I like my coworkers. I like the people I work for. Um, they enjoy it. It's just, um, we do it when we have happy hours, we do them on Friday after work. And by the time end of day Friday, like I'm just exhausted. So I have to be there from the beginning to the end of the happy hour. So, um, but, um, got through that and now I'm home and I'm exhausted and I'm going to stitch something. <laughs> um, my friend Michelle tells me it's national pumpkin day. And I want something small since I don't know how much stitching time I'm going to get. Um, so I'm going to start Threadwork Primitives Jack in the Hat. Very cute. I think I would like to attempt that finish. Um, so I'll be stitching on a bigger piece of fabric. Um, and Julie from Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World, I swear you were just talking about this fabric. This is a Nikki's Creation fabric called Old England. Um, yeah, Old England. It's a 32 count. And I got this at my LNS, like you did. You got your, your LNS, because I think they, this was at um, Nashville a couple years ago. Um, the only problem was it, it came like folded up in a square with some cute twine. Um, and she had little bundles of it. And I bought this one. And then when I unfolded it, there's like this big kind of weird coffee stain the way like see how that is it's like um not so much modeled but it's almost like someone accidentally spilled coffee on it I don't think a lot of the other pieces ended up like this I think it was just mine um I should have looked I should have opened the piece before I bought it so it's my own fault but um so um but you know I also like it too it just depends on the placement so what I'm going to do is um stitch it like in the bottom corner the actual design and then um, I'll be using a significant piece of the fabric to try to make the bag um, so yeah and uh, Kitten Stitcher just uploaded a new video about the Midwest Stitchers Retreat and I'm looking forward to watching that I already watched Jen from Felicity Stitches her video which was awesome thank you Jen um, oh and I have some happy meal I got this week that I haven't shown you guys yet um, someone on Stash Unload was selling you and I and friends designs for six bucks each and free shipping and I picked up two. Um, this is Acorn House and this one is Blackbird Sampler. It was very cute. 
And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a start and watch some floss tube and enjoy my Friday evening. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. Well, um, that's a wrap for Friday night. It's uh, it's like a quarter after nine on Friday night, so I'm gonna get changed and put on my makeup and hit the clubs. Um, or maybe I'll just go to bed. Cause I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, but yeah, I worked on Grumpy Pumpkin for National Pumpkin Day. Um, and he was a blast. All right, good night. Well, hello, my friends. Happy Saturday. Um, it's Saturday evening. I'm wearing my Winchester Mystery House shirt that Lena got me. Good choice, Lena. Um, I am finally getting around to starting my cross stitch. I was just working on some project bags. Um, didn't complete any, but hopefully eventually. Um, I did a lot of chores today, that kind of thing. So anyway, finally about to stitch. I'm going to stitch a good housewife, good housewife called Pumpkins and Peacocks. Um, I don't think this has been re-released yet. Um, I got really lucky. I well, I had I was looking for this for a while. I had a search saved on eBay, and in the end, I got the full kit for like under twenty bucks. So that was awesome, and I need to start it and stitch it now. Um, so the only, I'm going to stitch it in the call for black linen. Um, the only change I'm making is I'm going to stitch the peacock in peacock from Gentle Arts instead of the green gray DMC that is called for. I just want to pop a little more. So I'm going to give that a start. I just got done watching the Joan and Kelly show, um, on Floss Tube. I think I'm going to watch some Haunting of Hill House. All right, um... I will catch up with you guys later. Bye. Alright, well, this is the image I leave you with tonight. A peacock shooting something out of his butt. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. Um, <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll start off this way. And then I was doing the stream, I was like, I'm going to stop here, though. And um, post a picture of my start. And... It's looking a little odd. Anyway, that's all right. Um, so I worked on the big peacock there in the middle. And uh, yeah, I got to do it with the variegated floss. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, I'm tired. Um, I finished the uh, series, The Haunting of Hill House. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so end of Saturday and um, just one more day left of the week. Craziness. Um, all right, guys. Good night. Good evening, Stitchers. Um, it is Sunday, last day of the week, week four of Dark October Stitching, if you can believe it. Um, it's been probably so far, I'm guessing, a very quick video because um, it's really just been my starts and stops. Nothing all that exciting. Um, I did go to my parents today. Um, my mom got back from Switzerland recently. Um, I got a wonderful Swiss haul of chocolate and cheese, my favorites, um, and it was great to see them, And um, but that's really it for this weekend. It was a quiet weekend, kind of the last one for a while, um, so it was nice. I worked on some sewing. Um, I sewed up four project bags, so I feel accomplished, um, and I'm going to show this to you. I, um, I have four more cut and ready to go, but... I sewed up all the ones that you would use black thread. I used, did that today. Um, again, these are from the um, tutorial that Suzette, the Primitive Stitcher, did. Um, this round, I added a few inches to the measurements, um, mostly because I mess up like every single bag I sew. I'm just not good at like by the time that all the layers are sewn together, the edges usually don't match up the way they should. So I have to like increase my seam allowance. I have to trim. I have to do things like that. So this time I. Um, I added a few inches so that I can comfortably fit an 11 by 11 Q snap in case that's what the project, you know, project bag holds in the future. Um, so basically these would be for my bigger um, projects. These are all dark October sewing. <laughs> um, these are like Halloween fabrics. Um, so I'll show you these. The first one. Um, this is a fun Alexander Henry fabric again. I like the back the most, I think. My favorite part of this fabric is that big empty dress at the bottom. 
There's just something spooky and very uh, haunted mansion about this bag. Um, so there you go. And then I did another one with that fabric, but this one version is black and white. The top fabric is like a Joann's kind of a funky one. Um, it's just a fun fabric. It's got so much good Halloween stuff in it. And then this one is um, class, like more classic vintage Halloween. Um, those are cute. And then this last one is um, Ravens. Raven. This is a Joann's fabric. Um, and they're Halloween fabrics. So those are fun. I'm glad to have them done. Like I said before, they take me quite a bit of time. So I'm um, glad they're done. Um, I'd stop making them if I could stop buying cute fabrics to make them. Um, but those I think I'll probably put multiple whips in them since I have so many Halloween whips now. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to have those done. Uh, next, um, because I don't have a ton of content in this video, I thought I would do a little book segment. Um, in addition to Dark October Stitching, I did some Dark October reading. I did the same thing last year, and I enjoyed it, reading kind of spookier books for Halloween. The first one I started out with is called The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. Um, this was kind of a whim purchase. Um, part of it is that beautiful cover, um, that typography. It definitely caught my eye. Um, there's this awesome bookstore in Oakland called Walden Books, and they sell both um, used and new. And if I go to like an independent bookstore, I will buy at least one book um, to support them. So um, that's sometimes where I'll get like newer books. Um, this one I bought new. Um, Anyway, I, I just kind of, like I said, I bought it on a whim. Um, it ended up being a lot, I think, a lot more younger um, than I'm usually, I read. Um, this would be, I qualify as young adult, um, but I felt like it was a younger young adult. Um, so the idea of this is the main character is actually the um, daughter of Dr. Jekyll. And she meets a few girls, um, including her, someone who must be her sister, because she's um, Hyde, Mr. Hyde's daughter. Um, Dr. Moreau's daughter's in this. Frankenstein's daughter's in this. Um, another character that I hadn't heard of before, this daughter is in this. And they kind of form a club, and they're solving a murder mystery, and um, they work with Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. And it's really well done. It's cute. It's just um, it's just a little young for me, but it's the first one in a series. Um so I, could, I would recommend this for like a teenager, young teenager, if they're into that kind of thing. Um, and then after that, I actually did not know that they were making the series when I planned on reading this. This is The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. This is a book written in the 50s, um, considered a modern classic. And, um, and then I found out they were making the show and both coincided. And so I decided I would read this before checking out the show. I loved this. This was really kind of creepy and good. It's not the show. Um, this takes place in, well, I guess it takes place in the 50s when it's written. Um, and the idea is that there's this, like, doctor who studies, um, the paranormal, um, kind of as the science. And there's this house, hill house, that's known to be haunted. And he rents it for the summer and invites, um, a few young people to go stay there with him. And they're going to kind of experience the house and take notes, that kind of thing. Um... The show is about a family, um, parents and five kids, who live in Hill House, and it's haunted. And it goes back and forth between their adulthood and their childhood um, in that house. There are tons of references in the show to this book, but it's not the same story. Um, this book would probably fill, like, maybe, maybe one hour episode. Um, it's a thin book, um, but it's well written, and it's different, and it's creepy, and... It was a lot of fun to read. I enjoyed it. And now I am reading uh, Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. Um, this came out, I don't know, I, let's see, shortlisted for the 2002 Man Booker Prize. This one's 16 years old. Um, I, I, who told me they read this? Was it Laura? Um, but this is a, um, I'm loving this so far. This takes, um, place in Victorian England. This isn't like horror or supernatural or paranormal or any of that. This is, um, but it's kind of a thriller. Um, the main characters, I'm only 
that far into it um, and I won't give anything away but the main character's name is Sue and she um, she's an orphan but she was raised by a couple um, in London and they're kind of um, they have a um, oh they have a locksmith shop but they they dabble in um, they kind of live lifestyle they they deal with a lot of like thieves um, and there's this one um, con man, they call him Gentleman, and he comes and he is, he has a plan to um, marry this young woman um, who's very innocent and shut off from the world. She lives with her like eccentric scholar uncle in this shabby big house. And um, when she marries, she will inherit. She's an orphan. And so Gentleman wants to marry her and then send her to the mental institution and get her money and he wants sue to help him by um being her lady's maid and kind of helping his case and so he comes to the family her the, the people raising her um and to her and says you know you go in on this with me and you're gonna get all this money for you and your family and um so she does and that's kind of what how it starts out and uh now i'm on the interesting ride it's um it definitely kind of gives me the goosebumps sometimes it creeps me out a little um, so I'm really enjoying this. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. So that is my book update and my sewing update. Um, I'm starting a project. Um, so this is a beautiful chart. I'm very excited to stitch this. Um, this is Moonlit Garden by Blackbird Designs. This is out of print, um, but my lovely friend Michelle lent it to me. Um, thank you so much, Michelle. Michelle and Maddie, my two of my stitching besties, have both uh, stitched this, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't think I'm going to put the words at the bottom, because I have another pattern that has the same verse on there. Um, I, th I just love the house and the pumpkin and the stars. I don't really want to take it away from that. Um, since it's a moonlit garden, of course it has to go on blue, because it's a night sky, right? So I will be stitching this on one of my most favorite fabrics, which is Sampler Blue from Extra Design. Um, so I'm going to start that right now, right now. I'm very excited. Um, I did realize, um, just now that I should have four starts left, um, to do one every, one every day of the month. And I just realized I only have three left in my bin of starts. So I have an opening, which is awesome. Um, and then also I made the decision that I don't, well, I'm not 100% yet. I'd say I'm 85%. One of my starts was going to be Google Tide Welcome by Plum Street Samplers. That is a very large pattern. I love it. Um, it has this huge black house in the middle, and I thought I would start out with the black house. But I don't know if I'm comfortable. Now I'm feeling like I'm kind of doubting whether I want to do that right now. Um, just because it's such a large pattern, and now I have so many whips, and I don't know that I feel very comfortable starting something that big. Um, so I guess I'm just going to have to see how I feel about it. Um, it just it just feels weird to only stitch one day on something so big. So we'll see. But I have plenty of backup options. I have small ones, si sized ones, medium sized ones. Um, you know, I got those Not Forgotten Farm patterns that I absolutely love. I'd like to start those. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. But tonight I'm starting, starting Moonlit Garden and I will update you um, when I'm done for the day. All right, talk to you later. Thanks. All right, my friends, that is um, a wrap on Sunday of the fourth week. Um, I got three and a half stars in on Moonlight Garden. Really pretty colors. I'm going to love this. Um, can't wait to stitch the rest of it. Um, well, I hope that you guys had a good weekend, and I wish you the best week ahead. I will be vlogging the next few days to finish up the month. Night.